All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. It has been some time since I've made a YouTube video and sometimes it's it's okay to take, you know, a mental break um, from filming YouTube videos or Instagram and stuff like that. You know, the last few weeks of my life have been um, kind of hard, you know. I transitioned from active duty to uh, being medically retired from the Air Force. So I just wanted to take a mental break from that, but I'm back on YouTube and we're going to be filming some uh, Type R content today. And uh, today is an exciting day because we are going to be sending some logs to the uh, FK8 clinic, uh, AKA Kefi. We're gonna be doing uh, E85. I have, <clears throat> I have the E85 here. We have right around about three gallons of E85 that we are going to be adding to the car today. And I figured uh, why, not, um, why not take you guys along for some of the uh, wide open throttle pools that we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get this uh, ethanol uh, in the car. And then, uh, yep, let's head down the road to my little secret spot. And then, uh, yep, let's get some data for him so we can get this sent over to him, get it back. And I will tell you right now, um, I got the fueling issue fixed from PRL. They sent me out a new um, kit for the flex fuel kit, new lines and stuff. So I'm excited to see how the car feels. I remember the last time I drove this car in E85, it's like night and day difference from just pump 93 gas. So I'm super excited. So let's get into uh, today's video. Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm always nervous about pouring this stuff in my car and <clears throat> making a mess in the uh, garage. Unfortunately, we don't have E85 local here, so I have to buy it in these five gallon jugs. So like I said, I got right around three gallons in here. We'll make it happen. And I bought these containers off Amazon for like, I think they're like maybe 20 bucks a piece. So. But if I had to do it all over again, I bought the green ones because they were cheaper. I'd probably get white because the white is more clear and you can see exactly uh, how much fuel you have left in a container. I know each of them are five gallons, so, but it's easier to see uh, if it was white. I mean, so far so good. This has pretty much been mess free. I'm telling you guys, this car is a totally different animal when it is on E85. There's the last bit of it right there. This car is so much fun to drive on E85. Okay, get you guys a cold start. get any further video I just wanted to make it a point to thank everybody for all the calls the text um, for you know your support you know yesterday was Veterans Day and then you know hits. <clears throat> plus whenever I retired I got a great group of friends and family that truly do care for me so I know you guys are watching this video so thank you all for your uh, love and support it does not go unnoticed and I guarantee you somebody's gonna call while I'm recording this video it never fails somebody always freaking calls but it's okay. So we got we got you set up uh, on the window over there, and then I have my my head strap to get you guys uh, a POV shot of the driving. <laughs> Funny enough, it's 69 degrees out here in Florida, so the IAT should be should be nice and good. What are we doing? Come on, people. Oh, and another thing, so I'm at 5,640 miles on the Type R, and it already seems like these tires are ready for new ones. Um, so if you own a Type R, how long did you guys get out of your factory uh, tires? Because it's crazy to think that I'm only, I'm less than 6,000 miles in, and it's time to, uh, it's time to get new tires, which is wild to me, but it's all right. That's just going to push me even more to go and get some 18s and some fatter, meatier tires, so... But yeah, comment down below and let me know uh, if you have a Type R, how long did you guys get out of your um, out of your factory tires? Because this is kind of ridiculous, but I guess as much as they are, you know, performance tires, not 
30, 40,000 mile tires like you normally would put on a, a sedan or, or just you know a regular truck or car. Oh, and I recently started posting uh, reels on uh, Instagram, which is crazy. Cause Instagram reached out to me. They're going to give me $1,200 a month or something like that to post reels on Instagram. And I was like, I have all of this other footage and video, funny videos and stuff of, you know, into my personal life that I'm going to be posting on there. So if you guys are interested, go check out some of the reels that I have have on um, Instagram. And all that money is going to go right back into the channel, whether it be uh, performance parts, uh, just anything in general is just going to go back to the to the channel uh, it could be camera parts batteries sd cards stuff like that but yeah so go show my um go show my ig reel some love but anyways next clip we're going to be at the uh at the little location put you guys on my head so you guys can get a pov shot and yes i still have the plastic on the head visor or the visors on both sides and still have <laughs> the plastic on the radio and the uh the vehicle airbag tag on the glove box i know some people still have that on there so don't don't make fun of me but anyways uh oh my god that dude was cutting grass and i can just hear everything in the car anyway all right let's get this thing started make sure we got this thing recording do a little first gear pull see how it does seems like I may need to pull that banjo bolt again and see if it's still uh, see if it's still messing up Let me stop that one we'll do that again second gear definitely highly recommend getting the uh, flex fuel I don't know how much I forgot how much road we have left up here again my data login S solid there we go It feels weird wearing this GoPro on my head. Here we go. Stop that log. Get him 
one more good one. Four thousand, and we're gonna stomp it. Stomp. You never know, like I said, there was a random random Jeep that came through. Alright, let's we'll stop this log. And then we'll gonna we're gonna get him some normal driving back in to and from the house. Just stop and go traffic. So I'm gonna switch back over to uh, that camera. Okay, we are now leaving the undisclosed location. Mission accomplished. We got the data logs, so uh, let's head back to the house. Whoops, I'm supposed to be recording this daily driving. Okay. I tell you right now, the uh, the car felt great. The only thing is like second gear, like 6600, 6700, it almost feels like the car is doing that backfiring thing again. From the, I don't know if that's a fueling issue or what, but I don't know. We'll have uh, Kefi look at the logs and he'll, he'll tell me. Like I said, other than that, the car felt great. A third gear, fourth gear, um, yeah, the car, the car felt amazing. Like I said, I've said it a million times. This car is so much fun to uh, to drive on on E85. It's just a bummer that you can't just go to the pump and pump it around here. We got we got a buddy who who gets it by I don't know. He has a couple hundred gallons of it, so. Yeah, like 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 I said, next we got, there's we got some more stuff coming for the tie bar. We gotta get we gotta get new wheels uh, and tires. Make sure this thing's focused on me. We gotta get new uh, new wheels and tires for sure. I mean, we're just literally spinning, spinning, spinning right there. So we didn't do a first gear launch or anything, but like I said, the car was definitely having trouble hooking up. It's like, of course, you know, being on E85 in the boost and stuff, it just wants to break loose. But the car felt great, you know. We'll review the uh, GoPro footage um, whenever we get back, but yeah. Alright, that's going to do it uh, for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you're stopping to the channel for the first time, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and uh, go check out my Instagram Reels if you would, please, and uh, I will catch y'all in the next video. We have some more uh, riding content coming on the Grom. Like I said, thank you all so much, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.